Today we're going to learn about the famous writer William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, famous for his many plays and poems, was baptized on April 26, 1564, in Stratford-upon-Avon, Warwickshire, England. The exact date of his birth is unknown, but it is traditionally observed on April 23rd. He was born third out of eight children to John Shakespeare, a glove maker, and Mary Arden. William was the first of their children to survive past infancy and was probably educated at the King's New School near his home. At 18, Shakespeare married 26-year-old Anne Hathaway, and the couple soon had three children. They named their oldest daughter Susanna. Two years later, they had twins, a boy and a girl they named Judith and Hamnet. Sadly, Hamnet died in 1596 at the age of 11, possibly from the bubonic plague. Not much is known about Shakespeare's life in the years between the birth of his children and the first of his plays appearing on the stage, but by the late 1580s he had moved to London, where he was both writing and acting. By 1592 his plays were being performed there, but when plagues spread through the city, theaters were closed and Shakespeare wrote poetry instead. Theaters reopened by 1594, and William Shakespeare had joined an acting troupe called Lord Chamberlain's Men. He acted in their plays, but he also wrote for them. During this period, he wrote many of his most famous works, including Romeo and Juliet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and The Merchant of Venice. After writing more than a dozen successful plays, not to mention very popular poems, Shakespeare's wealth and fame was increasing. In 1599, the Lord Chamberlain's men worked together to build a theater they called the Globe. With his own theater to call home, Shakespeare began to write even more plays. Plays written after the Globe Theater was built include Hamlet, Macbeth, King Lear, and Othello. The Lord Chamberlain's men became the leading playing company, or group of actors, in London. After the death of Queen Elizabeth in 1603, King James became their patron. Now sponsored by the King, they changed their name to the King's Men. In the following years, the plague would spread through London over and over again sometimes forcing theaters to close for long periods of time. Around 1610, Shakespeare returned to his home in Stratford, where he continued to write. Plays written during this time include The Winter's Tale, The Tempest, and Henry VIII. On April 23, 1616, William Shakespeare died at his home at the age of 52. He was buried two days later in the Holy Trinity Church, and the slab over his grave is carved with a curse against moving his bones. Good friend, for Jesus' sake forbear to dig the dust enclosed here. Blessed be the man that spares these stones, and cursed be he that moves my bones. Sometime in the next few years a monument was erected there in his memory, which remains to this day. Today, Shakespeare is often remembered as the greatest writer in the English language and is credited with introducing through his work at least 1,700 new words. Throughout his life, he wrote 39 plays, 154 sonnets, and a few other pieces. His plays have been translated into every major language in the world and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. They continue to influence books, movies, and plays that are written today, making Shakespeare possibly the most influential English language writer in history. I hope you enjoyed learning about William Shakespeare today. Goodbye till next time.